Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to talk about a pretty interesting free um, game that NASA has recently released to basically promote its future, uh, future mission to Mars but also to celebrate four years of Curiosity rover on Mars. Now today we're going to take a look at this and hopefully you learn something from this video as well. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So basically, uh, NASA decided to team up with a game making company called Game Me, and they've released this relatively cool, simple, but actually kind of fun game called Mars Rover. I'm going to show you this game and also another game that uh, does teach you quite a lot about Mars and Martian exploration. But we're going to start with this because this is actually, even though it looks kind of simple, it's kind of challenging and also kind of fun. I've tried this game for a few times now and uh, my high score is actually pretty low. Let's see if you can actually possibly beat my score. So the controls are pretty simple. You have a rover uh, and you kind of just, oh, here we go. Uh, you kind of just roll. Your job is to roll. But the problem is that if you go too fast or if you go too slow or if you go too high or too low, you can break your rover. Uh, your job is to basically scan these uh, water deposits without breaking your rover. And um, this is essentially how the future mission on Mars, and there we go, game over. I lost. Uh, this is how the future mission on Mars will also actually uh, scan for water. It will basically be driving over Martian surface and use a deep um, surface scanner to look for liquid water underneath, just like that. So basically they're demonstrating to you what they're going to do in the future. <laughs> this was a big one. And so this is actually how the future mission, which is uh, going to happen in 2020, uh, that doesn't really have a cool name just yet, uh, will be essentially looking uh, for water and also um, even looking for sound. It will actually have a really interesting apparatus that will actually be able to hear everything on Mars, not just see, but also hear. All right, so let's try to be beat our old score. I've been kind of bumping the same into the same um, surface area here and breaking my wheel. Now, in reality, the rovers need to be really, really careful on Mars because a simple mistake will actually destroy it. And no, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, no. Oh, high score of 34. I can do better. Um, so yeah, uh, rovers here have to be really, really, really um, precise and very, very careful because um, if they go too fast, they'll break their wheels and the mission will be over. Nobody's there to fix them, so if you break one rover, that's it. And so um, the Curiosity rover in its four years on Mars has only actually moved, oh, that was a cool maneuver, uh, has only moved about 13.5 kilometers. It moves at a speed of about five centimeters per second. And it's actually, uh, it has to move so. It has to be very, very accurate because Martian surface is very, very rugged. Um, and all of these rocks can easily break everything. Uh, and so, this game kind of demonstrate, demonstrates how difficult it is to actually drive these things on Martian surface. And if you can beat my score, good for you, because I am totally not doing well here. My highest score so far is... Uh, what is my highest score? I think it was 34. And I'm gonna do this one more time, try to beat my high score, and then show you the second game that I've also found that uh, does teach you even more about Mars, Martian surface, and uh, Mars in general. And totally did not go as I planned, but I can do it. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, like a pro. And my high score is 35, yay. Good job, Anton, good job. All right, so that's a game called Mars Rover. You can find it in the description below. It's available for um, iPhones, for, um, for Android phones, and also you can play this in your browser as well. And the second game is also from NASA, directly from NASA. This is nasa.gov. And here you basically uh, have a kind of a, almost like an adventure game, point and click adventure game, where you play as one of the rovers. I'm gonna choose this one. And uh, your job to basically is to basically kind of, you know, roll around and to see what you discover. And you actually get to also learn um, about the realistic things and realistic objects that this particular um, rock, uh, not rock, uh, this particular rover has discovered. Like for example, Adirondack rock, it actually tells you what it is, how it looks, uh, what it's all about, and gives you a very, very unique 
perspective of Mars by showing you different photos from different angles as well, including very realistic photos of this particular rover touching every rock and doing all kinds of all kind of cool exploration. So this is actually uh, not really a game because I don't think you can actually lose this. There's no losing conditions. This is more of a just um, kind of a simulation that um, you can kind of play in your free time if you want to learn more about this particular mission. Um, curiosity mission, what uh, this particular rover discovered in all of its four years on Mars. And of course, if you actually want to learn more about Martian surface and various really cool objects like Stone Council. What is it? Of course, it's a stone. And this game even provides a kind of a, almost like an adventure-like storyline here by telling you what uh, exactly this rover is trying to reach. Specifically here, we're talking about Boneville Crater and uh, what it discovered on the way to this crater and also obviously shows you realistic photos. So this is what this particular rock um, looks like. And uh, so yeah, these are the two games I wanted to kind of share with you. They're obviously both free and they're obviously very, very educational. Well, maybe somewhat educational and um, basically give you an idea of what these rover missions are all about, why we're doing them and what we're trying to learn from them. Do check out both of these games. Uh, the, the links for them are in, in the description below. And if you actually enjoyed them, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share this with someone who you think may also like to learn something about Mars and Martian missions um, from NASA. And okay, so I think I'm going to pause this here. Um, this is all I wanted to show in this particular video. Kind of just give you an idea of what NASA is doing, what it's planning to do in the next few years, and why these uh, rover missions are uh, so cool. And also why NASA actually decided to focus on rover missions and also on telescopes rather than trying to establish uh, moon colonies or anything else for that matter. Um, just like, uh, for example, Chinese Space Agency, which actually is trying to go to the moon again. And anyway, that's all I wanted to kind of show you in this video and hopefully you learned something from it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to uh, look at another video game or possibly do something space related or maybe even just play a game together. And it looks like I'm about to reach a new location here, but I don't really know what's going to happen and I don't want to spoil it for you. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Game leader, and as always, bye-bye.